Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Will and I'm going to show you a few different ways to make a photo slideshow in Apple Keynote. It's pretty easy, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is start with a black background. So if you're projecting this up onto a screen, you definitely want to use black. And so make sure you have black selected over here. And also you can zoom in and zoom out by pinching two fingers in and out on the trackpad or manually over here by selecting what size you'd like. So for this specific slideshow, um, I'm teaching a lesson on child labor during the industrial period in Europe. And so I've selected six photos over here that I'm gonna use in this slideshow. And all you have to do is drag and drop them one by one until they're all there. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. I always like to do that. And so we're gonna move all these photos out of the way until we get to the first one. So here's the first photo. And the emotion I'm going for is kind of like a sad, depressed tone. Um, so, cause it's child labor, you know, it is pretty depressing. So in order to achieve that under animate, I'm gonna have this first photo build in using dissolve. And it's a little bit more dramatic if you make it, you know, about like five seconds, you can hit preview and see. Yeah, so nice and slow dissolve. And so we're gonna have it build in dissolve for five seconds and then we're gonna have it build out using dissolve also for five seconds. And I'm gonna do the same thing with each of these photos. Center it, build in, dissolve, five seconds, build out, dissolve, five seconds. And so I'm just gonna go through all these photos doing the exact same thing. You wanna make sure to always do the build in first and then the build out, because then all the builds will be in order, so you don't have to mess with the order later. So if you wanna know the order, you go to build order and you can see one builds in, builds out. Next one builds in, then builds out, and so on and so forth, all the way down. But what you also want to do is highlight all of them and under start, go after previous build. That, that way, once it's going, it just automatically plays and you don't have to click next for every single build. So if you hit play, you'll see it plays already. Builds in and then builds out. And the next one builds in. So you get the idea, but Adding music makes this so much better. So I've also selected a track of music that I'm gonna play. Um, it's from a soundtrack to a movie. The movie's titled Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. It's a pretty good movie. I highly recommend you watching it. But this song specifically is a pretty depressing song. It's so you just gotta drag and drop it and then there's your slot, there's your audio file. And so it automatically has a build-in start audio. What you want to do is move that all the way to the front, click on the first build and go after. So that way everything will just play automatically. And speaking of playing automatically, you also wanna click on the start audio and instead of putting on click, you wanna go after transition. What that does is that as soon as you click onto the slide or press play, it will automatically just play without you having to click one time to get it going. So you also wanna have a build out for the audio or else the song will just keep going. And so it's like a two or three minute song or however long it is. So go to build order. You can have this on click, which means you can click to have it stop or you can, have, you can make it go after the last build, but I'm just gonna leave it on click so I can just click it to stop the audio so I have the control over it. And if you hit play. So 
So there you have it. That is one way to make a photo slideshow in Apple Keynote with music. So here's another way you could do a slideshow. In a different lesson, I was teaching about African resources and talked about rubber and tapping trees. So I made this simple slideshow showing photos slide in from the left and slide out from the right, talking about rubber or diamonds. Diamonds are forever. And that one has music, so I'll show you how I did that. But basically, ivory, oil, these things all, if they all slide from the left and they slide out to the right. And so if you want a slideshow that looks more like that, I'll show you how to do it right now. So start with a black background as always. And here are my photographs that I've chosen. Here's the rubber ones, diamond, ivory, and then oil. So, all right, right about there. So what we're gonna do, similar to the last one, one by one, we're gonna size them up and I'm gonna add some text, which is gonna say African resources and I put that right there. Give it a cool font called phosphate. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe size 75. And I'm gonna make it green. All right, there we go. So go to animate. When you have the photo selected, build in. It's gonna be move in. And build out is gonna be move out. And so for both the build in and build out, you can change which direction you want left to right, right to left, top to bottom, etc. And then also how long. I'm gonna leave it at one second and just everything go left to right so it looks like one smooth thing. And I'll take the next photo. Build in, move in. Build out, move out. Take the next one, build in. Move in. Build out, move out. All right, so here's how I did the diamond one. So center your photo where you want it. And I'm gonna do the build in. And now I'm gonna add the music. And so I have a Kanye West song. So let's hope this video doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> Just kidding, it's only a couple of seconds. Called Diamonds from Sierra Leone. That's where I got that music from. And so when you drag and drop it, you can see it has a start audio on it, but we don't want the whole song, right? So under format, under audio, we're gonna start it at the nine second mark. And then we're gonna have it, instead of going all four minutes, we're gonna have it finish at the 13 second mark, which is gonna give us this. Diamonds are forever. Which is exactly what we want. And so under animate, all you have to do is we'll click on this and it says start audio. So as long as it's there, it'll play and I'll do the build order after. But now we're gonna focus on, oh, we didn't give it a build out. Build out, move out. All right, last two, we're gonna go with Ivory, build in, move in, build out, move out. And then center this one, build in, move in. And sometimes what I like to do is if I, do, just to remind myself that it's the last build, sometimes I'll do a different build. I like twirl. And so on the very last photo, I'll have it twirl. And so as I'm doing the presentation, it's a reminder that that's the last photo, um, that there's not another one coming behind it. So pro tip. All right, so if you look at the build order, everything is on click. Move in, move out, move in, move out, move in, move out. I'm gonna put the audio. If you find here, it says start audio, the Kanye West. I'm gonna have that after, okay? So this photo is gonna move in. The song will play after, and then I'll click on it to move out. But I like having this all on click, different from the last one, because that way you can control with every click which 
photograph comes in and comes out in case you want to stop and talk about it or something like that. So if you go play, here it is. Click in, click out. Click in, click out, click in, click out, click in and music. Diamonds are forever. Click out. So that's how you make a similar looking slideshow like this. And so last one twirls. So at any rate, make, if this was helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up just if it helped you at all. Um, leave me a comment below if you want follow-up questions or know how to do a different one. There's a million different ways you can do a slideshow. These are just two of my favorite ones. But at any rate, I'm here to help. Uh, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.